Great. I see I've got James today as my TA. I haven't yep. met James yet, so that'll be lovely to have him. Yep, right. Okay, so I'm going to make you host again, and okay. you're live again. Okay, thank you. Much appreciated, thank you. Harry. Thanks so much. Thank right, you. So have, have a, a good, good day. class. Thank you. Bye, -bye. Bye. All right, so we will be live streaming today in about six minutes. Until then, collect your coffee, get yourself ready for a fun time. See you just. Hi, James. Nice to have you in class. Hi, Sue. Same here. <laughs> Whereabouts do you come from, James? Well, I came from Pakistan. From Pakistan. Okay. Yeah. So you're three hours behind me. So, exactly. <laughs> so you're six o'clock in the morning as I was yesterday when I did my lesson. Bright and yeah. breezy. <laughs> Lovely. And thanks so much for being part of the class. Um, you are most uh, welcome. Uh, I see we like we're going to be live streaming as well. Um, exactly. But, mm -hmm. uh, every time we live stream, I think of my my time when <laughs> I got bombed. <laughs> it was uh, it was quite an interesting lesson that day. Um, but fortunately, now things are in place, so nobody else will be bombed. So that's great. Uh, exactly. Yeah, it was. And look, it was good because it put everybody so that everybody was ready for it, um, and uh, nobody else has to have it. So it's good. But I'm I'm hoping today is going to be a good class. It's, <laughs> it's be an interesting class for you. I think it's very different to the technical classes and others. So I hope you enjoy. Sure, I will. All right, I'm going to take off the um, uh, security so that everybody can just enter. Can I make you co-host? Thank you. Okay. Right, your co-host. Um, and uh, let me take off the security quickly. The waiting room I don't need anymore. And then we are ready to rumble uh, in three minutes. Okay. Oh, okay. That's nice. I got a bit of feedback.
Um, all right. Good morning, Brenda. Lovely to have you in class. Thank you. How are I'm, you today? I'm very well today. Thank you. It's a lovely cloudy day today, so we've got it's a little less sunny, and um, so it is much cooler uh, today for us because we're heading into autumn but we've still got hot weather so uh it's nice to have a cooler day today yeah. uh, definitely makes a difference uh lovely to see you again i hope you're going to enjoy today's lesson brenda where are you from i'm in detroit michigan that's right that's right <laughs> oh look this first oh here comes vera that's lovely vera welcome vera uh, nice to have Vera in class two. Excellent. Nice to have you with us. Um, there, we'll just wait a few minutes for everybody else to start coming in. Um, Brenda or, or Vera, what do you want to get from this class? Actually, I'm just curious. <laughs> that's good that that's that is the best of all because you've got no expectations of what you're going to see so, so it, this is purely uh, something different <laughs> and Vera what are you wanting to get from it Vera I guess I was just curious and um trying to get my creative juices going and well, I'm hoping that by the end of this class, you'll have a whole lot of creative juices going because I divide the class into things to do with younger children and uh, young people. And then what I call me time, which is things for us to make for ourselves. So there's a combination of the two. But very often there are things in the different sections that you think, oh, Yes, I could do that. Yeah, um, that would actually work here or that would work there. And hopefully we will be able to have all um, different ideas and different things. Where are you from, Vera? California. California. Oh, beautiful. Hi, Laverne. Very nice to have you. Oh, Pat. Hi, Pat. Pat's back. Uh, lovely to have you. And Laverne, um, uh, Pat or Laverne, is there anything that you are expecting or wanting from the class? 
that. Okay. Right. Let me introduce, I have James with me today. And James is um, my TA. He's here to help me to, uh, if there's any problems or if there are any questions, he's always there to help. Laverne, where are you from? The Big D. The Big D. Detroit? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a good guess. <laughs> the Big D. The Big D. Excellent. And what do you want from this class? I'm very open. I've kind of decided that I, I know almost everything. When it comes to all of this technology, I have a lot of spaces, so I'm just trying to fill them up. Okay, well, today's lesson is definitely not tech orientated at all. Today's class is to get your creativity going. And I'm hoping that it will do that for, for you. Hi, uh, Linda. Nice to have you in class. Great. Um, welcome, Linda. Nice to see you. You'll need to, uh, if you wish to unmute at any time, just for a little bit, just press your space bar and then you are unmuted. And then when you release your space bar, then it mutes again. So it's a very quick and easy way to unmute. I always have to go looking for the mute. Where was it? But uh, this way I don't have to. Uh, Linda, where are you from? Uh, you need to unmute. You're muted at the moment. Have a, okay, right here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, from Ventura, California. California. Okay. Yes. Right. Lovely. Well, I think we've got, a, 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 we haven't got everybody yet, but let's go and start. Oh, here comes. Um, I'm wondering who iPad is. iPad looks interesting. Um, let's start to share the screen. And then from that, we will be able to um, work our way through the class. So, today we are doing simple creations using toilet rolls. Mm -hmm. And how many of us just throw them away straight away? Now, I know that some people are worried about using toilet rolls. They say, oh, toilet rolls, they could be germs. They mm -hmm. could, well, you can buy an, any kind of spray that is a germ killing spray and all you do is spray down your toilet rolls when you finished using them and put them in your box and that they're perfectly clean after that so you can use um, all your toilet rolls and your roller towels because they are such useful things for making so many different things for instance in the picture that's made out of toilet rolls that frame is made out of toilet rolls who would have thought? But I'll be showing you some of those a bit later. Now, we learn from each other. So it's I, fantastic that a lot of you've got your cameras on today. That is so great for me to be able to see you. Um, but if you haven't and you still interact, that's also awesome. The idea is the interaction. So many people have ideas. And then if they just give their idea, that sparks something in somebody else, including myself. I've learned so much from the people that I have uh, had in my classes. And that is the whole idea. It's, it's an interactive time. You can request a recording after the class at helpatgetsetup.io. And those who are popping in and out live streaming, the best way to participate is to actually join a class, then you can participate. And anything that I might mention, we are not paid for any kind of advertising. It's just something I use. And so uh, that um, is just how it is. A little about myself. Um, I live in Perth, Australia. I was born and raised in South Africa. And I lived there for 63 years. Three years ago, uh, my husband and I moved to Australia to help look after my granddaughters. Uh, they needed to be helped in the afternoon. And we came to visit, fell in love with the country and decided it was a good move. 
Um, I, I've been an educator for 44 years now, um, both from little children up to adults. And now I still do education as well as my get set up. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a win-win for me. Um, I have a great, uh, I enjoy creating and making things. So this is my, my scene, making things, creating things, doing things. Um, I've got a love of animals, as can be seen by my um, four animal lit classes that I do, two on Australian animals and two on African animals. <laughs> And I really enjoy being a get set up guide. For me, it is awesome. So that's just a little bit about me. Now, we are going to be using things that we have around the house. We don't want to go out and buy things necessarily. Uh, some of the things you may want to get few extras from your dollar shops, um, simple things to add to what you've got and add to what you are making. But the tools we basically require are scissors, glue, or a glue gun. If you're working with little children, rather work with glue than a glue gun. Uh, paper, cardboard, crayons, markers, and of course, toilet rolls. The ultimate best are your toilet rolls. So what a lot of people do that are worried about uh, germs as soon as you've finished with your toilet roll, you take your um, antibacterial spray and you just spray it on inside, outside, and I pop it in my toilet roll box. I've got a whole box for toilet rolls because they disappear very quickly when you're building. They, they are used up so quickly. You don't realize, you think, oh, I've got enough toilet rolls to feed an army, but you haven't. When you've got your grandchildren there and the neighbor's kids have come to join, suddenly all the toilet rolls are gone. Uh, <laughs> even when I'm creating myself, I think, I'm sure I had more toilet rolls than that. Mm -hmm. So they are awesome. We will be covering young children's ideas or older children's ideas and then me time. And me time is our time to be able to have uh, do things for ourselves. Two of the pictures here. The one is your uh, little uh, your bracelet. It's a lovely thing to make with half a toilet roll. I've just put some sticky paper on it. You cut it down the back. They put it on as a bracelet. Now, suddenly they are Superman and they are action character and suddenly they come alive. Um, you can also put letters of the alphabet. You can get these foam letters of the alphabet and they can put their name. They can put their initials. They can write a word, power, anything they want on, on here. And then it is their special one. And you, they can decorate it whichever way they would like. So that makes a super idea. The second picture is, in fact, my take home for you. What I like to do at the end of each class is have a project that you can actually do at home. And this is your project, which we will talk about at the end. Our agenda. Our agenda are themes. I work in themes because so often children are into the zone of something. They are under the water or they are uh, a pirate or they are Batman, Superman. Um, they, they've, they've just come, uh, they're under the sea, they're a mermaid. And mm -hmm. so you can work according to whatever theme they are interested in at that moment. So today we're going to look at under the sea, fairy homes, pirates and princesses, insects, animals and space. And then we're going to make for ourselves gift boxes, murals, and flowers, <clears throat> all things that are different. We're going to look at our fairy homes to start with. There's a variety of them there. I've made a little fairy home just out of a toilet roll. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Let me just take a sip. I don't know where that came from. Um, uh, I've just made it out of a toilet roll. <clears throat> oh, terrible. And a roll, a rolled up piece of paper to make the head. I've used tiny little um, 
squidgy balls, um, a shiny one on the top and the little ones underneath. I've cut circles in, in the containers. I cut the circles for the children because I don't like them using the cutting knife. It's so easy and it's quite difficult to cut open your toilet roll, particularly the hard white ones. And then just put little pieces of paper inside to make the, the windows. But the nicest thing, they then decorate the outside and then you can use lights. I've got these, you get them at the hardware store, these little lights that if you press on the light, it immediately gives you light. Now they've got their little house. It's all lit up. They've got a beautifully lit home and it's suddenly brought to life. They've got, and they can put little gnomes, little fairies around it. They can make a whole little city of it they can really go to town you can also use um felt on the on the top or material on the top it the sky's the limit and they can decorate it they could do it um and so depending on their age i find the older girls really enjoy doing something like this and they go to town making something really special and um, and so that makes it a, a really fun activity to do. And then they can then create a city, create a home. They can buy little, we can get little pot plants, live pot plants, put live plot, pot plants around it and turn it into something really special. So those are your fairy homes. Anybody got any questions about the fairy homes? Or gnome homes, for that matter. <laughs> they're very, very cute to make. And with the light inside, just uh, all they do is put their finger in inside the, the door when the light is off. They pop their finger inside the door and that then lights up their house. And now mm. they've got this beautifully lit house. Mm. Okay. Right. So... Right, let's continue. Under the sea. Under the sea has so many applications. Your toilet rolls can be used for a myriad of things. You can turn them into little mermaids. They can dress them with sticky paper. They can draw uh, tails. They can uh, dress them in hula hula dresses, put them hair on, and they've got their little girls. You can make your fish. And all you've done to make your fish is to take a toilet roll. Oops, grab a new one. You squeeze it in half like that. Just so that you've squeezed at the end. And then you pop the top in. You just turn the top in. And it turns in very easily. The first time I did it, I thought it was going to be really difficult. But mm -hmm. it's not just turn that in so that it's closed. Now, I don't want my fish to look like that. The mouth looks funny. So I turn it the right way up. So it's point to point and I squeeze on that. That now gives me a mouth that looks like the mouth of a shark or a fish of some description. So it's very easy to manipulate a toilet roll into different things. You can then cut a tail on it, cut the tail open, put some Google eyes on. Those are the best things ever, because if you've got Google eyes, you are then able to make a variety of things. And as soon as the eyes move, they become alive. Now my creature's alive. Look, the eyes are moving. <laughs> and so you've got your, your toilet rolls done like that. You have also can take your fish make that same mouth and this time I've just used some very pretty little oops, um, shiny things that I bought uh, for a dollar um, they are all different shapes and sizes and they shine there's all different colors in here and I've now stuck those on here and that then makes what you're looking for. So it's very easy to use whatever you've got to be able to make all the different creatures. So there's your fish. He's got his scales and you can do it with sequins. You can even do it with some of 
the bubbly balls, these sort of bubble balls um, that you get. Uh, you get shiny ones and plain ones. Uh, you can put those on. They can also make uh, the scales on your fish. Uh, you can put uh, glitter on. Now, if you're working with glitter, as you know, glitter can often end up everywhere. It doesn't have to. Put your glitter into a Ziploc bag. Take whatever you want to put glitter on, put the glue on where you want the glitter, pop it in the Ziploc bag, shake the Ziploc bag when it's sealed, open it again, shake your thing inside the Ziploc bag and take it out. You'll end up with very little glitter all over the place. And that saves a lot of cleaning up because to try and clean up glitter, it seems to take forever to get rid of that glitter. So that is, that is a good way of, high, of moving your glitter. You can also make a fish with an open mouth. You make the open mouth fish mm -hmm. by just closing off the bottom end of your toilet roll, adding a tail, adding some fins, and you've got an open mouth fish. And they can play with their open mouth fish. You can do crabs. You can do whales. I've got an interesting looking whale that I've made, just closed mm. off the end, cut a little piece at the back so that the tail shows and put some sticky, shiny paper around to make it glitter. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to look exactly like um, the creature. You've also got your um, octopus. All you do is fold your toilet roll in half because now and then just cut so that you've got four cuts on each side and open them up you can put a nice shiny pieces onto it and you've got your octopus lovely ideas for the children to play with and work with under the sea any questions any queries not yet. Okay. Right. Now, making people. Children love to make people. They, If they're into pirates, they'll make a pirate. You give them all sorts of bits of fabric. You give them Google eyes. You give them a couple of some pens. You give them some paper. And the sky is the limit. They will design and make a whole family, mom, dad, brother, sister, uncle, cousin. They'll, maybe they've been reading a book. Maybe they're reading Harry Potter. Then they'll want to make wizards. So they'll make wizards and they'll have Harry and Hermione and all the other ones that, that are in the, the sphere. They might have Hagrid, give it lots of hair, give it a beard. Now they've got Hagrid. So they can really go to town building and creating different creatures and different people, different characters from uh, the movies that they're watching, uh, Batman, um, Superman, it, all of the different ones. When it's Christmas time, they can make Santa, they can make reindeer. Um, I will in October, October and November do Christmas ones or all, all sorts of Christmas decorations from all sorts of creations um, and, and all sorts of pegs, anything that we've got around the house. But the, the, they can use anything to create their beautiful characters. They can also put their fingers inside, which is rather nice. You can put your fingers inside. Now you're, you have a puppet. And your puppet can move, your puppet can talk, your puppet can do all sorts of things. So by just spreading their fingers slightly inside, they have a puppet and they are able to work with their puppet. So that is also a nice uh, idea that they, they can interact with you and they can interact with other characters as well. Um, mm -hmm. And that, that is really great. They are able to do that. Any thoughts? Any ideas? Anybody tried anything like this before? No? <laughs> oh, great. So maybe you're starting to think about, hmm, what can I do for the 4th of July? Maybe I can come up with a really interesting creation for that, that we can use and do. Now we've got our insects. Children really love insects. 
They are fascinated by them. Some of them are scared of them. And toilet rolls do not have to be round. They can be square. They can be hexagonal. Here's your square toilet roll. All you've done is flattened it one way and then turned it and flattened it the opposite way. Now you've got a square. And that square can be used for all sorts of things, including making balls. But that's a, a, a different thing. But if you've got your square, you can use that for lots of things. They can use it as, uh, I'm just trying to think, um, part of a tower, part of anything. If you want to make a hexagonal, you would fold it in half like that. Then just take a ruler and measure so that it, there's three equal parts and just make a little mark. As soon as you've made your mark, you can then squeeze it once, squeeze it twice, and now you've got a hexagon. And you can then turn your hexagon into something really scary like my spider. <laughs> There's my hexagonal spider with his hairy legs, pipe cleaners, um, some masking tape, uh, and a little nose, and away you go. The, the sky is the limit. Toilet rolls paint beautifully. They really do. They paint so easily. I don't use a paintbrush because I find a paintbrush makes lines unless I'm wanting lines. I use a sponge. I cut a sponge into lots of little bits of sponge. And I take uh, old containers that have had cream cheese or anything like that in them, wash them, and then I put just a little bit of paint into each one. Then the children can't overuse the paint. If they want more, we'll put more into the container. They dab their um, sponge into it, and you just sponge on like that. Mm -hmm. And that gives you a textured feel as well as giving you a smooth finish. And if you miss a little bit, once it's dried, you can just dab on where there's a little hole or the color's not the color you want. And you can also do one color, let it dry, then do the next color and so on. So you can end up with a really beautiful thing done like that and it dries pretty quickly I use acrylic paints because they are seem to be more vibrant than the watercolors and so I've just squeezed some of the tube of the acrylic into the tub I can seal the tub afterwards and then when they want to use the paint again or I want to use the paint again I just open up my tub it's there ready to start and just what uh, washing the sponges is so easy to do um, and then they are finished, ready, and waiting for the next time. You really get some beautiful colors out of them. My green one was, uh, was my acrylic paint. My blue butterfly is the acrylic paint. So it really does give you a nice color and a very nice finish to what you are making. So you end up with some really beautiful creations. You add pipe cleaners for the feelers. I can pop in some pipe cleaners for my feelers. Just hold that in there. I don't know how that came out. There's some pipe cleaners for my feelers. And now my creature has got a life of its own. And they fly their butterflies all over and have some fun. Ladybugs, anything they want to make. And of course, the best of all is your own creation creature. It doesn't have to look like somebody else's creation. Doesn't have to look like a butterfly. Doesn't have to look like a bee or a bug or any of those things. Make your own. This is my creature and give it a name. Let them tell you a story about it. Now you are interacting with the children as well. Because particularly if they are grandchildren, so often you say, how was your day? And they go, fine. That's it. Fine. Uh, but if you are interacting with them while they are painting and while they're creating, I hear all sorts of things that I would never normally hear.
when uh, we are doing that because they just open up. They are now open to talking about things and they tell you things and they ask advice. And because I've got grandchildren from 12 years old down to two years old and um, we, uh, my older grandchildren, I actually work with hands on. My little grandson, he's two and a half. I work with him on Zoom. He lives in Africa. So um, dad gets all the things ready or mom gets all the things ready. And then we we work on Zoom or we work on FaceTime and we are able to now uh, make things together. And it's awesome. <laughs> Uh, animals, those who want to make animals, they can create all kinds of animals. Animals that have legs, animals that don't have legs. They can paint all different designs on them. For that, you would probably use a paintbrush in order to get your, your lines more accurate. Um, but I would do my base coat first in um, with a sponge. And after that, you can add all sorts of things. You can use bits of material. You can use bits of paper. What I do with my scrap paper, I have A4 envelopes with the name of the color on it. And any bits of paper that would normally be just tossed into the bin, go into there. Because often you only need a little piece of paper. Now you, you go and cut a whole big A4 sheet just to take a tiny piece off. No, if you've kept all your scraps, they go through the scraps and they find the size they want and they cut that and use it. Uh, so it really is a, a time saver, a cost saver to do that. And then it's very easy at the end of what you're doing to just get everybody to help collect different color paper, sort the paper and into the envelopes. My whole sheets I keep obviously in just a big pile, but the scraps, it's wonderful. I use them for all sorts of things. And um, you can create uh, fictional characters, you can create characters that look real as well. Uh, you can put uh, external pieces like noses or trunks or tails. You can give them the lion can have his mane. So you can really go to town with what you're doing. With your crocodile, you can use the long toilet um, roller towel roll and then cut it a bit shorter then your tail continues out at the back mm -hmm. and that also makes it look real and and great anybody got any questions or thoughts not today okay right now a few more animals that we've got if they've been to the farm and they want to make their farm animals, cut your rolls into small pieces, and they can make the cows and the sheep and the pigs and the ducks. And the sheep, they can use your uh, cotton wool buds on it. It makes the most wonderful sheep. Uh, your cows, your pigs, and so on. Mm -hmm. So you just let them think, let them decide what they want to make and put all the pieces on. Uh, I have a story from when I was making these originally many, many years ago. And my boys were small and I made a, a really beautiful, what I thought was a beautiful chicken. I created my chicken. I painted it. I gave it a beak. Uh, I gave it a lovely fluffy tail with all different color feathers. And I thought that my chicken was the best. My son looked at me and he said, um, you're not taking that to school, are you, mom? So I said, yes, I've just spent hours making this thing. He said, you can't take that to school. So I looked at it and I said, why? What's wrong with it? He said, how many legs does a chicken have? I'd given my chicken four legs because I wanted to balance it, but I'd just done it without thinking. So I then had to come up with a way of making my chicken stand up with two legs, not four. But I, I was totally unaware that I'd done it. And uh, that stuck with me for many years. I now always look at the legs of whatever I'm making and make sure the legs are the right number because I don't want to have that happen again. But uh, yeah, they, they thought it was very funny that mom didn't know that how many legs a chicken had. I was told that uh, one of the chicken companies would really appreciate my four-legged chicken. <laughs> They get a lot of money for their, their chicken legs. 
Right, space. Now we go into outer space. All children, or not all, but most children are fascinated by out of space. So we can design and make different out of space rockets. And then you can make those rockets fly. In my moving toys that I do, I show you how to very simply launch all sorts of things. And so they can then launch their rocket uh, into the sky. But you can make a simple rocket with a toilet roll, three pegs, and the top of any container. This happens to be a roller, roll-on top, that, a lid that has been turned into the top of my rocket. They can then design, draw on it, put whatever they want to, and create it into their own special rocket. They can make space shuttles. They can uh, make a tall one and then put their Lego in it with little openings. You can see which level the Lego character is standing on and how he's traveling. You can have a rocket with all its boosters at the bottom ready for launching. You can put a paper coming out the back that shows that it's like fire coming out the back. And somebody the other day said to me, if you use um, the uh, onion bags, that you can use that and that also makes it look like a vapor trail that's coming mm. out of the back of your rocket. So there are so many different things that you can use to create the effects that you want to make. And the younger they are, they might be more simple, the older they are, the more intricate they get with the different designs that they make. Uh, on Monday, I went to visit my, my granddaughter and she is now, she and her dad are living with a, another family where there are four children as well. So now I've got five grandchildren that I, I provide for when I go there. And the boy who is 11, he wasn't going to have anything to do with what we were doing. That's girl stuff. And uh, I'm too old for that. So I said, no problem. And we started to create things. And he was sitting there on his iPad. And I could see the eyes were sort of wandering over to what we were doing. And um, about 15 minutes into it, he said, um, I think I'll join you for a short time. I said, no problem. You can come and go as you want. Well, he was in their boots and all and created the most amazing rocket. So I said, mm -hmm. well, do you want this rocket to fly? So he said, Yeah. And I showed him how to fly it. Well, he said, when are you coming again? <laughs> so you, you, mm -hmm. They might be a little he hesitant at first or feel they're too big to do it. But as soon as they see what actually is being done, suddenly it now becomes a much more interesting thing to do. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. just give them the leeway, continue with what you're doing, and they will slowly start coming in your direction. So this is the end of the children's section. Is there anybody with any questions before we go on to me time? Anybody see anything that they think they might be able to use? No, not yet. <laughs> okay. Right. Now, me time. This is our time for being able to make a variety of things. Toilet rolls can be created into amazing things. If you take your toilet roll and you just cut it into pieces about that size, not very big, and then you push the one end in and keep the other end out, you will end up with a very nice looking heart. And if you make a few of those, you can have your one heart in, one heart out, one heart in, one heart out. You can even have them all facing outwards. It's entirely up to you. You can put them around a tea candle. You can put them around a big candle. Uh, you can paint them the color that suits your room. Um, and if you're having friends and you want to put them, you want a theme of, say, black and white at the table or blue and green at the table, you can make these and put the candles in them. And each person can have their own tea candle in front of them. You'll probably find afterwards they'll want to take them home with them because they are unique and different. But they really do make wonderful creations. 
You can also cut your toilet roll and open it. Now, using the open toilet roll, you can now roll it, you can fold it, you can turn it into all different shapes. If I'm wanting to roll, what I will do is I will take a, tooth, a peg with me and I will just peg it in the position I want, just so that the paper gets used to being round. After a few minutes, I can take it off and I have got the round shape that I'm requiring. So it's very easy to design and make these in different shapes and sizes. Uh, you are able to fold, twist, turn. Um, what the pictures are actually on a frame, I've taken, I didn't, a friend did something very similar to this. This pic picture comes from Pinterest, but we've made similar. Using an old wire um, hang coat hanger, you can shape it into the shape you want, and then you just glue on your paper once you've painted it the color you want, or you can spray paint at the end if you want the whole thing to be a particular color. And after that, you can hang your uh, pictures on the wire part of the uh, picture frame and then uh, of the, the frame. And then you've got this beautiful lattice work underneath. In the center, all that has happened is you've taken a toilet roll and you've cut it so that it's feathered and you've just twisted those you've actually uh, made them into very thin little feathers at the top little pointy feathers at the top and that is the center of that picture hmm. you can also join your pieces of toilet roll together i've just made a simple one for you here just using toilet rolls. Mm. Taken your toilet roll, squeezed it, and now I've got flowers. You can do flowers, designs, patterns. You can put them on the wall. You can put them just at the top of the door, or coming down the door a little, or around something just to uh, bring people's eyes towards something that you've done. Maybe you've done a beautiful creation out of plants, and you might then have something like that bringing people that are looking up down to your creation that you've done with your fresh plants. So this can be used anywhere. Um, I made a, a very successful frame with my granddaughter. She had a mirror that really didn't look like much. It had a plastic frame around it wasn't attractive at all. We then created flowers, put the flowers all the way around the frame. And we did it three years ago, and it is still looking really beautiful. And she uses that uh, mirror every day, it, and she stands it on her counter. Uh, she had an underwater theme, so it's all in blues and greens. And um, I showed her how to make a little flower on the side so that it looked like it was under the sea or a piece of coral that looked like under the sea. And that has turned that mirror from being just a plastic mirror into being something really special. But you can, the sky's the limit with those. It really is. You, you can't believe how many things you can do with just your toilet roll. Mm -hmm. You can also make a lamp or a light out of it, taking slightly longer than the one I've got here. I've just cut it short so that um, I can show you. Uh, you feather it at the top and bend the feathering out and then join them together in a ball. You, I, I put mine over a pot to start with. So I, I left the bottom of the, the bowl, of the mixing bowl, and I started to put them all around the mixing bowl till I got to the top. Then I had an opening at the bottom. I closed part of that opening, but left enough for a light fitting to be able to drop into it. 
and then I ha you get a light. It gives you a diffused light. It doesn't give you a very bright light because it's coming through all the holes of your, your toilet roll. You can paint it whatever color you want, gold, silver, pink, blue, green, whatever your room is that you want to have it in. Any questions? Any thoughts? Yeah, I, I have a question. Yes, Brenda. Um, uh, it's Pat. Oh, is that Pat? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Brenda, Brenda lit up, so I thought it was you. Oh. <laughs> Apologies, Pat. Hi, Pat. Lovely to I have did. you. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so when you're using like a light bulb, it's mm -hmm. not going to get too hot? No, it doesn't get too hot. Um, it, in fact, you, if you feel the, particularly the, the light bulbs of today, those, the, the LED type oh. light bulbs, they mm -hmm. don't get very hot at all. That's so true. they they don't they don't burn your your paper and I don't put it so that it's touching. There's quite a space between it and and them, but no, it doesn't it doesn't harm it. But uh, so you're going to try it? Very possibly. <laughs> oh, good! <laughs> Somebody's got an idea from it. Excellent, <laughs> lovely. Uh, anybody else got a question? No? Okay. Now, look at these roses and the flowers. These are toilet rolls. Mm. What we have done here is we have cut the toilet rolls into petals. And then by just folding them back, you are able to create these roses. I do give you the pattern for this. So you are able to make your own ones. But they really look so, you can either um, paint them before you put them together, or you could maybe spray paint them after. I'm in the process of making a variety of them. Somewhere I've made them darker in the center and lighter on the edges um, and different colors yeah. as to, to see if I can come up with different um, looks uh, according to the colors of these roses but they really are beautiful you can put them on a parcel you can put them basically anywhere somebody suggested they wanted to wear it as a brooch and yes certainly you could you could turn it into a brooch um, you can even put a stem on them and add some leaves and then you've got your um, artificial flowers but these are toilet rolls don't believe that a toilet roll does not is only a toilet roll it mm -hmm. is not it is this wonderful thing that you can use how many of you would have said that those roses were toilet rolls hands up no 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 <laughs> 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 right. Well, they are. They are made entirely out of toilet rolls. But as I say, I do give you the pattern to show you how to do it. Because for me, I think they are exquisite. You can get the straight leafed one and the curly leafed one. And then you can also just by folding, make a, a lily or a daffodil out of that with its little center and then the leaves around. Once painted, they really look beautiful. So um, I hopefully within the next two weeks, if I've got time, I will have finished my roses. I'm trying to do so many different things at the same time because um, now that I can start creating again, uh, I, that's bad because all I want to do is be out in at my table out in the garage doing and making different things for different classes. Right now the last thing we're going to look at is our gift box. This is such a useful thing. If you are going to maybe have people over and you want to give them a little thank you for coming you can put a few chocolates inside it, put a pretty ribbon on it, and have it at their, their seat. If you've got a small present you want to give someone and you don't really want to put it in one of those bags again, you want something different, you put it into the, the uh, toilet roll and you decorate it beautifully. When I do treasure hunts with my grandchildren, all the clues are put inside these boxes. So they 
read the clue, they then go to wherever they've got to go and they know they're looking for a, another box um, in which to find. This is my one that I've made. I've just put a ribbon around it, put some pretty um, stickers on it, uh, sticky beads on it. And now I can just open it at the end and put in whatever I want to put into it uh, and then close it up again. Just open it up, pop your things inside and close. Nowadays, you do get white toilet rolls. They are a lot thicker, well, we do in Australia, um, than the others. So they're not as easy to manipulate, but it's useful to have a white toilet roll from the start and not have to paint. But you can put anything you want on. You can use wrapping paper. You can use sticky paper. The my grandchildren for beginning of the year, they have to cover their books in pretty paper, sticky paper. I collect all of that up and that comes to grandma's and I then keep all of that. And then when we want something to put sticky paper on, it's there, it's available. All of my life, I've looked at pretty wrapping paper or different wrapping paper. And when I see it, I will get a roll of whatever it is. Because so often you see something and months later you think, oh, where did I see that? Because I want to use it for this or that. So mm -hmm. I just have my collection of toilet roll, uh, of wrapping paper. I keep it all in an old suitcase that can never be used for traveling again. It's past its prime, but it's the perfect size. And I've got a lot of feeling for that suitcase. It's traveled all around the world with me. So I keep my suitcase and I keep all my wrapping paper and a sticky tape and a pair of scissors. So if ever I want anything, I just haul out the, the case and everything is there and ready for me to create or wrap if it's a gift parcel that's being done. So this is exactly how to make it. So easy, one, two, three, four, five, and six. This will be in, in your notes at the end that I give you with your emails. Right, that is the last of my me time things. Does it, be, before I, in fact, let me just do this and then we'll, I'll close and we can have final questions. Um, if you've got anything you think we could add to the class, please feel free to add what you think would be a good thing. Um, and, and any comments that will help us to make your classes even more interesting. Um, and you can re request your uh, uh, recording at help at getsetup.io and I will send you an email after this class. There are lots of interesting other classes, board and busters for us seniors, board and busters for children, upcycling, science, cooking, uh, and my animal series that I do. I have 18 different classes that, that I have so that there is a variety. Um, now, I'm going to stop sharing and... Um, if anybody's got any questions that they would like to know. Not a question, got... Anne, but a comment. Ah, I'm, yes, I'm Pat. Thinking... <laughs> Sorry, I, yes. I'm taking and thinking about one thing. All the kids in the neighborhood and your grandchildren have to take and think, oh, geez, go over to her house. So fun. You know? Oh, yeah. They do. <laughs> Whenever they <laughs> see my granddaughter arriving, the, the doorbell goes <laughs> because they know that my, my granddaughter is there. And as I say, now she's staying in a family of five children. And so whenever I go there, I've immediately got five that I have arranging from the age of four to the age of 14. So it's a really wide <laughs> range of children. You know what? You better, you better watch out. You're going to take and have more than 100 grandchildren at one point, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't mind. If, if they want to play and they want to create, if they're not on an iPad, I am a happy camper yeah. <laughs> because they really need to use their imagination and start yeah. to think and do things. So for me, Pat, I'm delighted you made that straight away. Yeah, excellent. Pat's made her first box. I have seen um, a lot of thing, adult things on uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. from toilet roll paper as well as um paper towel yes holders. Yeah. um 
So I was really interested in the adult kind of things. And I love, love, love the roses. They love are the nice, roses. aren't they? How, they are. how many rolls did it take you to make the rose? Um, I, I think I used six rolls, six or seven rolls to make it. I, I've, I've been doing it over the weeks. I, I do a little bit and then I do a little bit and then I do a little bit. But um, it depends on how full you want your rose to be as well. But uh, yeah, I would say start with six and then build up from there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so that, that will give you what you, what you are doing. But uh, I hope I will be, um, I always add to my presentations, as soon as I see something else I like, suddenly there's an extra slide, or a slide goes out and a slide goes in. <laughs> so um, there will be more things being added uh, as, as I, I look at all the different designs and things that are around. Because there are, there are just so many interesting things to do with with your toilet rolls mm -hmm. right anybody got anything else they'd like to say i do yes uh, yes i've been saving my not the, those rolls but the thicker white ones you were talking mm -hmm. about i've been saving mm -hmm. those because i thought i can't throw these out because they can be used for something so they may be too thick to fold but i can do something with them but yeah, when I throw out my rolls, I think this is a waste because, you know, I'm a crafty person. <laughs> I've got all those supplies you showed. I have supplies to make anything. I have things for leather stamping, journals, oh, just so much stuff. And I just, I these classes look like oh, I might be able to use this stuff now. So I really appreciate it. But um, will I be able, I, I'm afraid I'll forget everything you showed us. So in the email, will we be able to well, see the picture? You'll see okay. some of them, but if you ask for a copy of the of the um, of the, uh, it's it's been recorded. Okay, uh, if so you go, if you go, uh, there is a link uh, in my email as well. But oh. it's help it's help at getsetup.io, and oh. then you get your own copy of it, and then you can look at it as often as you like, and slow it down, okay. and start it up, and so on. Okay. My so daughter works with children too, before and after school, and she would love that. She always says, "Can you think of anything?" You know. Oh we well, there oh. are so many. Um, there's toilet rolls. Um, there's uh, oh, I've gone blank as to what I've got. There's uh, baking with paper and tins. There is uh, moving toys. There's building construction. There's uh, just trying to think of all the other ones. There are five or six classes that I do using all okay. sorts of, of things oh, good. so you, <laughs> you'll you'll find some of them along the way yeah, yeah. Um, because they're all there with lots of ideas um, yeah. things that um, I, when I was at school when I was teaching my favorite subject I taught it for five years was called technology but it wasn't IT technology it was how things work so how does a door work uh, a hinge how does a bicycle go, the gears um, how do I launch a rocket how do I build a, a structure uh, what goes into what's the strongest structure what's the weakest structure how do I create a structure and so uh, and I did this from the little preschoolers right up to uh, 14, 15 year olds. And mm -hmm. those were my happiest years because yeah. the, we created, we made, we did from all sorts of things. Um, and they, they really enjoyed, they did a project, a term, and they made something really nice that they could take home after. And mm -hmm. th this to me made sense rather than taking things that you are going to be grunched and disappear in a day. Why spend hours making something that you can't utilize again or have some fun mm -hmm. with? So, mm -hmm. um, that, so that I'm now trying to pass on all those wonderful ideas that I saw and, and was able to utilize over the years. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we've got lots of, I've got my new one on building structures on Thursday. It's the first time that one's being being. So it'll be your Friday, uh, it'll be your Wednesday, my Thursday. Uh, no? Yeah. Uh, what are you today? Today, you're Tuesday, right? Yes, Tuesday. Yeah. So then, so it's your Wednesday, my Thursday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so it's tomorrow night for you and it's um, early morning for me on, on the Thursday. But uh, yeah, I, I hope to be able to see all of you again and I hope you've 
been able to get something out of the class. Yep, I liked it. Excellent. What does the dot .io stand for? Um, it's like dot .com. It's just a different platform, I think. Uh, let me ask James. James, do you know? It is regarding the education. Oh, education. Okay, oh, so it's okay. regarding education. Thank you, James. Oh. I've I've learned something now. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, dot io. So that is in, instead of dot com or dot whatever. Yeah. It's dot io oh, education. Okay. So that mm-hmm. pleasure. Well, I hope you all have a lovely evening, and I so hope to see. Yes, Pat. Um, So are there any other Me Too classes that you teach? Well, all of my classes have a Me Too section in them. So if I do, um, well, all of my upcycling is is adult. So it's upcycling things that you've got around your house and giving them a new life. You don't destroy them. You actually just use them again in a different form. Um, Mm. So all the upcycling classes are like that. You would enjoy that, Pat. That's all adult. Um, and then my my create my, my toilet roll, my paper creation. Um, and there's one more, and I've gone totally blank as to what it is. <laughs> Obviously, the day is a bit early. Um, the but gardening uh, the, the gardening the gardening, one. gardening one is the up up upcycling. Yeah, the yep. gardening one's upcycling. Um, so there are four upcyclings that I do. It's um, an overall one, one on mementos one on gardening and one on plastics. Um, and then the, the, the create uh, the recycling ones, I have some support for children and then a me time one afterwards. So they all have adult in them. And then my board and busters for adults as well has got a lot of ideas in it. Do you know how to make handmade paper? Yes, I do. Um, I What I'll do is, Pat, what I'll I'll do is I'll I'll make a thing for you and I'll send it to get set up and they'll send it to you. Oh, wonderful! Okay, I'll Thank do you. that during today. I'll I'll put it together and then I'll send it to you. I'll ask them to send it to you. Thank you. Pleasure. All right, thoroughly enjoy. Uh, Thank you. I hope you all uh, look forward to Carol Sue. Lovely to have you back in class. <laughs> well, I'm, coming to the, I'm coming to your animal class. Oh, you are. So I'll see you in an hour in my African animal class. Excellent. Yes. I'm talking so about the big animals. Have a lovely day, evening, everyone. Bye. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Thank you, James, so much Bye. for being there.